No, you're well, not doing it. No? He's got the driver. Driver off the deck, first time ever in the state of Georgia. I'm just Why? trying to do it in every state, I guess, right? I think I have to. Mm -hmm. Guys, we got a treat today. We are at Sea Island. We're here for the Lexus and Lynx event. So thanks to Lexus for having us down here. This is a place we've always wanted to play. There are three championship courses here. The only one, unfortunately, we won't get to play is the Plantation, so we will have to make a trip back. But from what they're saying, the two courses that we are gonna be playing here are very different in some really fun ways. And we're gonna start with the retreat course, and then tomorrow we're taking on it's the seaside course, yep, right? That's it. The seaside, seaside course, which Dennis the Starter already warned us is where you celebrate pars. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge, he said. But this is the warm up course for it. Still doesn't look like any picnic. Certainly not. We're gonna start off with a par five here. We're gonna take you guys through this course. Then we got something special to tell you, something new we're bringing to the channel this year. We're gonna tee off and then we'll talk about it. By the way, Mike, what tees are we playing today? Right, we're gonna to play the greens. We're not tipping it out. It's about 6,800. We're gonna play about 6,400. We just landed a few hours ago. A little loose. We got to warm up, which is uh, rare for us. We got a wide open fairway on this par five. Look how beautiful this course looks, Frank. Let's do it. <laughs> Boy, did you test that cut. I tested that tree a little bit. It's a good looking ball there. Let's go. We off. All right, Mike and I are just short of the green here on this par five. And uh, while I walk up to this, let me tell you a little bit about this new thing we're gonna be bringing to the channel. We're gonna be doing a rating system for these golf courses. I'm gonna hit this shot and then I'm gonna tell you why and uh, how we're gonna do it. Get up and stay up. Woo, stayed. All right, so this idea was actually born from uh, a lot of you often ask us, whether it be in the comments or in the DMs or emails, where to play, uh, especially if you're comparing one place to the other. We do a lot of travel content here, of course. So we want to find a way to formalize it a little bit more. So what we're going to start to do is we're going to give a rating for the golf courses. We're going to take you through them. We're going to talk a little bit about what is our mindset of why we're rating in a certain way and uh, we're gonna have a scale and then we're gonna continue that throughout it'll help us give a little bit of a a benchmark and that way too if you are between courses if you're thinking about traveling somewhere hopefully that will help you guys out a little bit i'll tell you how that rating system is going to work in a second but we've got birdie pots here can we make a par from the car par from the plane par from the plane Ooh! not my best effort went right there huh but i think i can make it Okay. That's one down. It's a little bit slow into the grain and up the hills, but wow, I found they're out. Slow, huh? Yeah. All right, but don't judge all the I not judge all your putts on that today. Yeah. It's the I think the grain is what's really gonna be a difference here. Two pars, Two pars from the plane. I'll take it. I love it. All right, so like I promised, here's how the rating system is gonna work. We're gonna take you through the course as we go. Also, even some of the stuff off course. We're gonna be staying at the resort here. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. And then for the scale, let's, let's keep this really simple. A 10, that's perfection. That doesn't really exist. Anything nines and ups, those are your world-class courses. Those are your, your Pine Valleys. Those are your Pebble Beach. Uh, eights, anything in that eight range, top in the state. Really exquisite golf course in the eights. Seven, those are gonna be your ones that are kind of sleepers, ones that are even better than maybe expected. Five, sixes, great munis, great values, things like that. Anything below a five might be a little bit dicey, might need a little bit of work, but hey, we're still gonna try to play them all so that we can at least tell you guys what we think. So that'll be the scale, and we'll invite you guys too to give some of your own ratings if you've played courses before in the comments. Let's see how it goes. This will be the first course we're rating out here. By the way, Mike, branded water. I'm not gonna say it's gonna help the rating, but it's, it's not gonna I hurt it either. A couple of it's points, not gonna so. hurt it, that's for sure. How's the Tell taste? Go How's the taste though? That's the question. <laughs> Let's see. Exquisite. <laughs> this one plays right to your shot shape, doesn't it? Sure does, man. <laughs> little dog leg right, little DLR. Nothing this guy likes more than a little left to right. Hope I started it left enough. Into the wind doesn't help you. It's safe though, it's just in that little waist. Yep. One thing I will say is we're playing this course the first week in February, so it's certainly not prime season. But I will say, taking a look, you can probably see it. Fairways, greens, T 
tee boxes are all great shape. You see a little bit of the rough is a little bit brown, but that's just the season. Can't deduct points just for where we play it, that's when true. we play it. Oh, and I do give out extra points for fairways hit. That's it, yeah, always. <laughs> always. Always. All right, we got trouble here out of the gate. I do have a window. I got some uprights. I see Zach. Look at Zach down there. How creative, huh? Where is he? Look, yeah, see him down there? Oh, look at this guy. I hit a stinger right now. His trip's over after two holes. Yep. Okay. Could be perfect, Frank. Be good, baby. Ooh, a little long. I hit it then. It was right on line, but a little long. Not bad, not bad. This will save a bogey. Yep. Not, not too much damage on this hole. Good roll. Even through two. So far, digging the layout, I mean, we had a, uh, a reachable par five, long but reachable. And then we had a, uh, a shorter par four there. Now we come to a pretty long par three here. 100 and 85 yards from these green tees. If you really want to tip it out, you can go back around 200 number, and I'm sure they could push even further than that. There is one thing you're gonna see very noticeably missing from these videos. Unfortunately, if you watch our videos, you know we like to put a lot of drone in the air, show you it from the air, but unfortunately, this course is right up against a small airport and we really just can't get it up there safely. So we're gonna have to just be creative. We'll show you the course in many other ways we can, but make sure you subscribe. Like I said, when we cover these courses, we cover them from the air a whole lot too. All right, Mike is gonna to try to uh, up and down this and keep his par train running. The one thing I've learned from Southern golf is there's a lot of putting off the green, guys. Didn't take long for that Texas wedge to come out. All right, good lead for par, I'll take that. Oh, Frankie Chips, go in, baby, go in! Come on, yes! Yeah! Yes. He said make a birdie, we made a birdie. Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's go, wow. We get, yeah, we get fired up for birdies here on the channel, if you didn't notice. We do, guys, smash that like button for Frank. That was one of the best chip-ins on the channel that you've ever had. Trusty non-iron bump. In a new state. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Hit another fairway, feels good, man. Playability so far so good with this course. I'm having fun, there hasn't been much trouble yet, but I heard from the starter there's a lot of water on the back nine. Where's so, playability on your rating scale? Pretty high? Pretty high. Pretty high. Right now, really high because I'm playing well. So I like it. Hey, anytime you play well, you're enjoying the Ex course, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. All right, guys, huge hello if you're new to the channel. Hit subscribe because if you like courses that are pretty epic like this, tomorrow we're playing the seaside course. And then we're gonna be playing Myrtle Beach later in May, probably going out to Arizona, probably California again. We don't know where we're ever gonna end up, so subscribe so you don't miss it. But let me just tell you a little bit about this week. Frank mentioned earlier, we are down here for the Lexus and Lynx event. Pretty cool, the brand invited us down. We're gonna be playing that course tomorrow with a bunch of other content creators. Tonight we got a pretty cool lineup. We've got a dinner with that team, playing that course tomorrow, another dinner with them tomorrow night. Then we're flying home. Two days, Georgia to New Jersey. Stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot of fun happening here. And if you are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. We appreciate every single one of you. And we've got a lot of great golf coming. Good man, you're dancing. A lot of meat on that birdie putt though. Yep. I was so worried about a bad wedge shot after a good drive. Always. All I need is a good Georgia peach this week. I got a good Georgia peach in my system. This guy's gonna be feeling pretty, pretty good. Much safer there. This cup is literally sitting at the base of this hill. Once it hits yeah. that hill, it's going. If it doesn't hit the pin, it's it's three putt territory. I'll tell you something, you put this one in three feet, I will be impressed. The only thing I definitely don't want to do is leave it short on that hill. No, then it's four putt territory. If you put it in, I'll jump in that stream behind us. I like that. I like that <laughs> motivation. Wow, you heard it. You heard it. Zach's jumping in the stream if he makes it. There's gators in there. Oh, it's going to fall. Too low, too low, too low. Just settle, settle. Again, settle. all I'm thinking is two putt. Oh boy. Okay. The problem is too, if I take on more hill up here, it only rolls faster. Yeah. Told you it was three putt territory. Tough to go from birdie to bogey that quickly. I have an incredible par putt from where my ball finished off the tee. This could be epic. 
kidding. Oh, 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 so close. I'm loving the, like, the home community here. Everyone's got like the fire pits with the nice couches. They're overlooking the golf course. It helps with the vibe ranking big time. It's pretty cool. Well, guys, we've been playing well, but there's one thing you haven't seen yet. That's some water. <laughs> now we've got it. This is the hole that the starter and everyone was telling us about. There's the family of turtles everyone was telling us about. All right, so I just fired it, and the bunkers that are the first set there and there are at 230, and the bunkers off in the distance beyond the fairway are at 280. So if you go straight, you could bring that into play. It depends on what you got. Of course, what does Mike have in his hand? Driver. Now it just comes down to what's the line you're picking. All right, the line is that little uh, shack down there. Okay. I'm just going to aim right at that tree in that shack, and hopefully I fade back to the fairway. Hope. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, it better fade or it's going to be in that shack. No, uh, she's fading. It's, uh, yeah, you're visiting the shack. It might be okay. It might be. Might it be. might be, but it is over the bunker. Yep, that's good news. Good safe play, Frank. Give us a fairway and give us a look at that green. I tell you, it's going to be a tough second shot, Mike. Yeah. What's this game without a little bit of luck, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> what is that? Two feet away from OB. Two feet and safe. There's Mike right there. Get up. Short? Just short. Yep, ah. just short. All right. Caught it a little fat. Get up there. Get up there. What a shot. Saddle. Saddle is right though. All right, putting for par. There. With those crazy undulations, I just didn't want to be long. Yeah, you know? I, don't, I don't blame you. Does he have two in them? Hit. Oh, stop. stop now. Stop now. It's going to hang on that ledge for dear life. Look at it. Woo. I gave it a run. Get there. Got to hit it a little bit, Mike. All right, as we approach another par three here, which we're just going to fire. One other thing I'll say, and definitely consider this in the ratings, especially for anyone who's traveling, is accessibility. So from New York, we flew direct out of Newark, um, landed in Savannah, nice small airport, and then it was only an hour drive. Here, very simple, all highway. Hour 45 flight, landed and drove. Yeah, gotta love that. It was like a commute. All day. Yeah, that was easy. What do you got? I got 157, but we're straight into the wind. It feels like it's coming at us. Gonna, I'm going to up a club to an 8-iron and play like a 165 number. I'm thinking about that prime, that stake tonight at that, that lodge. Yeah. So that's getting me that's through. That's the motivator? That's okay. the motivator. No, don't yank it. I left mine out and Frank yanked it. He's safe right there. You know, when you're not confident in the club, yeah. you do something silly. Yep. All right, I did stay safe by this little drain pipe. I'm gonna let Frank come on up. My man's across the green. He went left, I went right. See if we could just get this up there. Been playing pretty decent. I don't wanna blow it up, so. Smart golf here. Oh, I'm happy with that. Right there, baby. Okay, let's go make this par. Let's go make it. Come on. Oh! I'm gonna get another one today. I'm gonna get another one. Just don't, I'm not, they're not breaking the way I think they're gonna. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just pin straight. I thought there was gonna be a break. See what I mean? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Well done. That's the up and down that I was looking for. All right, this is important. Gotta love a well-stocked golf course. Haven't opened it yet. Let's see, moment of truth. Oh yeah, fresh ice, fresh water. Okay, okay. We'll consider it, we'll consider it. All right, before this tee shot, I just gotta give a shout out to my guy Harrison at the, uh, down by the caddy, by the starter. He said to shout out his name. He, he, gave also, us a, he tried to give us a line for six too. He gave us a line, he gave us some intel. He said, all you gotta do is thank me is give me a shout out. So Harrison, appreciate it. Six was fun, I ended up making bogey and I'll take that. So as I mentioned before, there's three courses here and we're playing the retreats, the newest of the courses. Actually, Sea Island has a lot of history dating back to the 20s. And I'm looking forward to playing some more of it tomorrow. But this course, interestingly enough, was designed in 2000 by uh, Davis Love III and his brother Mark, who grew up here. So I'm sure there was a lot of love put into it as well. It's the newest of the three courses here. 
and so far it's been uh, really enjoyable. A mix of playability and difficulty, difficulty that we're seeing here. Mike has got a challenge in front of him. A lot of water. A lot of water. Not a lot of room on the right here. Going right at Zach. Sit down, sit down. Oh. You're safe. Safe. Yep. And where this retreat course was, there was a course called the, the Island Club, I believe it was, which effectively the Love Brothers redid. They kept a lot of the same, I guess, general area layout from what I'm understanding, but uh, it's truly, you know, their thumbprint here. That, that sand is a lot heavier than it looks. Looks thin. Go in. Oh. Floating a little. Just stop right there. We should be okay. There's a nice patch of fairway right there. There's going to be the next podcast booth for Frank and I when we retire. Bring the families down here. That's a beaut. Just might leave myself a little blocked out over there. Yeah, you and I are going to be blocked, but we'll get over that tree. Yeah, we'll find a way. Yeah, we always do. That's the one time I'm not happy about out driving Mike. Yeah, He's got right. a lot more room to work with to get up and over this tree. 150 out, that tree's not even in play where he is. It's going to be a little dicier where I am. Oh, yeah. Catch a piece. Catch a piece. I think I'm on the left side. What do you got left? I'm just 130 here, but I think I can get a nine up and over that tree. I think so too. I've seen gonna it. Gonna cut it, cut it close. Maybe give it a haircut, but. <laughs> Told you we'd cut it close. Ooh. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Those feel good. <laughs> that was great. Try to finish this front nine with maybe a couple birdies. Yeah, that would be, that'd be something. We at else. least have chances. They're yeah. long chances, but they're chances. They're chances. So you're saying there's a chance. Up the hill the whole way here. Not high enough. Just stop there. Ooh. Give me that leave for par. Stop. Okay. Does it have enough legs? And there's the break that I've been there's waiting to see the whole time. Yeah. That time I saw it. All right, good par. You got this. Putting is just confidence. That's all it is. 1% technique, 99% confidence. See? Bang. Two good pars and the front nine. That's Let's awesome, go to the man. back. That's awesome. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to start off this back nine the same way we started off the front with a par five. This one's not quite as long, 475 yards from here, and it moves to the right a little bit. Generous looking fairway. Got to bring out the big stick. Oh, like just. Oh, you clipped the underneath of that tree, man. Boy, did you start it left. I sure did. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. Good way to start off the back. That was a peach, Frank. Peach, Georgia peach. See what I that did was, there? We were wait, that teed that one right up. We were waiting for that one. <laughs> I did, I thought did. about that on the plane. <laughs> no, you're well, not doing it. No? Are you really? Yeah, I like my lie. It's propped up. I got 254. He's got the driver. Driver off the deck. First time ever in the state of Georgia. Just Why trying not? to do it in every state, I guess, right? I think I have to. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I should have. Stop right there. Cut that ball. <laughs> oh! oh! Oh, I got the bounce back! It hit Carpath, hit a tree, and came back left. Let's hope it's safe. That is so lucky, because that's all OB, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get away with it, my friend. Nothing wrong with that on a par five. That's what I like about this three wood. It's so forgiving. Even a low strike, and I'm. 90% of the way there. Yep. Hopefully that I'm not rough. entirely sure what you call that play. It was called the poorly executed bump and run. <laughs> P-E-B-N-R. That's the one. <laughs> and here I was, got so afraid of the hill, I chunked it. Look at this green. This is what I'm talking about with some of these greens where we get you. It is that second tier and the, t the, the pin is after it, so it's just gonna fall off. So either carry it over there or just let it run over that hill. This is a tough one. Oh yeah, delicious. There we go, a little unintentional heel cut. <laughs> yeah. She nice, she real nice. Woo. 
Turn a little. Not gonna turn, but it should be safely on. Oh yeah. Yep. You putting for birdie. Let's nice see job. what that birdie putt's gonna look like though, right? Yeah, exactly. And guys, don't forget to subscribe because we're heading up north tomorrow. We're gonna be playing Augusta National. We can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I wish this we were. a warm up round. <laughs> All right, I gotta get the card. <laughs> Forgot, I gotta get the card. The Divot King is coming out. Making her appearance. Yeah, don't use the 46 often, but now is the perfect spot. This looks like the spot for it too. By the way, I am really liking Georgia golf over Florida golf so far. We were just in Florida two weeks ago. Completely different grass, it feels like. It is. It is, right? It is. Okay. It definitely is. I know that, that Florida grass ate you up a little. Ate me up. Yeah. Ate me up. Oh, that, back to this divot game. That's a stake, huh? Look at that shot. Good shot. Here we go. Here comes the divot rating. Here we go. Oh, my God. That's terrifically smelling. Oh, that is a divot. That's nice. Shay. Good stuff. This guy's got to stop smelling those divots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't go that way. It's going to push it right. Yeah. Big hair. Right, we can make there. that. We can make that. 99% confidence, right? Yep. Oh, hit it. Hit it, you wimp. <laughs> oh, scaff. I'll even give you the full caddy experience here, Mike. I love that. All right, you're gonna wanna be like, right there, huh? This would be a big par here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look at it from the other way. You look at it. You get weird. Get weird here. It's gonna go this way. Oh yeah, it's gonna go that way. Everything falls towards the airport. <laughs> Pushed it through. See, you gotta do, like I said, these don't overread the brakes on these greens. Yeah. Just don't overread the brake. 165, baby. 165, not a lot of wind here. And I'll tell you what, again, going towards that, uh, that rating, one thing I'm gonna keep coming back to, conditions. Uh, again, February, we are not playing this in peak, and I am impressed with the fairways. I think we commented every time we drive down a fairway about how good the fairways look and feel. Um, everything is nice and soft. You know, it's it's just great conditionally. And then as far as the greens go, same thing. Roll true. You could see us complaining a little bit because it's it's on us. We're not reading everything quite right. We're still uh, getting used to the breaks in it. A caddy would have helped there, but can't complain about how true these greens have been. Oh! You can't get any closer without making it, that's for sure. Went over the whole side of the cup. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, you son of a gun. That one went dead straight. Oh, she came down, I think. This, this guy and his kicks. I, I don't know what it is. I swear. Yeah, there you go. That one's good. That, that is an absolute good. gem. That is one that makes you come back. You know, ranking courses in the sevens, Frank, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Seven, I think for me is hard, but what's gonna get this course into the sevens? So far, vibe. I was inside at the pro shop before we went out and they had this cool little like bar with a fireplace going on. The bartender was singing, nobody was in there. So he was having a good time. The pro shop is really cool. They got a lot of stuff. And then you go out back and you see the driving range, the putting green where you could just sit and hang out. So vibe is key. And I think that's what's gonna get this you ranking a little bit You push it into the seven? I think okay. so. We'll see. Yep. I was gonna say, before I call you yeah. too lucky, I know. I mean, it's not OB on more, the luck scale. More important than my luck is this guy's eyesight. Yeah. From back there, I saw a little thing just fall down here. Well, good luck. All right, this is just a punch and pray. I got no shot at the green here. Looks like I could do a slinger ringer. Oh boy. Like Pound Ridge. Oh boy. You, you know, see that, that glint, glint in his eyes? That's his, I can do this. <laughs> I, can, I can. I've done it before. Okay. But there's water if the thing doesn't sling. No, you're right in the water. Yeah. So it's a punch out. Yeah. A good safe out. Yep, we're safe. I'll tell you what, another thing for the ratings, just some character. Maybe it's just because we don't get this up north, but check out the trees, the Spanish moss. That is some cool stuff there. Two time champ, three time champ. Let's go, baby. That's how we Texas wedge it. Oh yeah, give it to him. Grip that green. Settle. Yeah, you're setting yourself up for a all-time par. All-time. From 
from almost OB to yeah. a par. Incredible. Get in. Let's yes. go. Good putt. Par. Good putt. Thanks. Okay, make it. Don't even think about it. Don't even look go. at it. Don't Just even put it right in. Don't even. Wide open. Okay. <laughs> Okie doke. <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> I jinxed myself. Yeah. Fairway finder. Beauty. Fairway. I think we got a jet about to take off yeah, over there. Something's going on over there. Yeah, is it? Is well, it? Like I said, you can get to this course pretty quickly. Yeah, it's true. Especially you got that private jet life. Anyway, <laughs> another thing I will say, part of the ratings that I like, these generous fairways, not a lot of lost balls. It definitely keeps the pace moving. We are moving yeah, at a quick clip enjoyable. out here today. That's why it's enjoyable. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. Guy's got jets taken off in his backswing. This game isn't tough enough. You don't see that every day. No. Nope. Guy hit it harder than that, Frank. Goes back up a hill. Wow, don't make this a sloppy three putt. Thank you. Let's go, Frank. Thank you. So with this course hitting a lot of drivers, like we talked about, big generous fairways give you a lot of opportunities and where it gets challenging as you see is around the greens. But this was the first one I'm seeing a little bit more thinking here, par four, shorter, 362. If you go any bit right, the, the trees do come into play. So you could hit less than driver here uh, very easily, or you can get a little bit more aggressive and hit driver. He's up and over. Just like I told Plenty him. Plenty of height. Gorgeous. Woo! Tour shot. Woo! Tour that was, shot, baby. Those good feel shot. good. Those will keep you coming back. Yep. Release. All right, guys, we're going to try to make a birdie here, like we learned talking to the starter. Birdies don't come easily where we're playing tomorrow, so I'm going to try to get them where I can here today. Yes, yes. dude. Great bird. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's got to hurt. Someone left their nice Bushnell range finder here. We have to throw that in the cart and turn that one in. Somebody's gonna hit panic mode the second they realize that's gone. All right, guys, definitely the shortest par three out here yet. 140, you see it, protected by bunkers. Yep. Green falls off to the right, looks like almost a false front there. Be enough club. Be enough, I got a little behind it. Yes, as long as it carries that bunker, yeah. I'm a happy man. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Turning the ball left now. Yeah. Okay, Putt. putting. Grab that range finder. Yeah. Good pace, not, not a terrific direction though. No. Get up that hill. It's a lot of hill to bite off. Oh, oh. almost had it. That would've been cool. Oh, give it a try. Give it a try. I didn't leave it short. All right, guys, two holes left, and uh, we're going to dial up that rating. I want to leave it to the last minute here because I want to give this course every last bit, all 18. Now we're going to finish with a par 5 and a par 4. This par 5 is 515 yards. The water runs the whole right side. It is a tighter one. This is probably, I would say, out of all the looks, this might be the tightest, maybe the second tightest look off of the tee here. So where you want to really open up a driver, you could be in a little bit of trouble. Good play there. Just leave yourself a wedge on this par five. No, oh, I just didn't get down to it, but I'm gonna so you are get away with totally that. Totally gonna get away with it. Just, just don't, don't go in that bunker. I just wanted to feast. I thought I would get there and I got too quick. Yep. We get a little spin action. Wrong oh way. yeah, a lot of spin. <laughs> too much. All right, we're playing your GIR. Yeah. Okay, That's where you want to be for That's it. Good roll. That's a good speed. Thank you. That's a good speed. Good par. All Leave right. a birdie putt short. It's a sin. Two good pars. We move on to 18. All right, 18, par four. Right after this tee shots, we're gonna 
give you guys our rating. It's already looking quite positive. Pretty whole. But not a long hole. It's only uh, about 336, I believe, from the tees we're playing. But it's just definitely something that I think the loves wanted to tempt you here. Oh yeah, big time. Taking a shorter hole, but making it all water and then bunkering down the left side. So if you wanna go at it, you can go at it, but you're gonna take it all on. Otherwise the fairway is right. You could play it safe and hit less, or you can really go after it, but it's a lot of carry. What are you gonna do? I was gonna hit a seven iron down the right side because it is really the right play. Cause it'd be like a seven, seven. But the way that my ball fades, I'm gonna start it off on the left side of the water. You start on that the water, yeah, you should move back right. It should move back. A lot back. of fairway to the right. That's the spot to be. Nice and safe. Yep. Fairway, right side. Oh yeah, come on, sling back. Maybe yep, fine. I just, I got a good round going. I just want to stay away from the water. Take the big number out. That's Absolutely, it. Absolutely, man. That's it. All right. Now, I may be looking at it with a little bit of a rose-colored glasses because I'm playing well. So <laughs> that always puts you in a good mood. It does, but yeah. let's be fair here. Like we said, conditions, pace of play, the overall vibe, the yeah. friendliness here. I mean, I'm willing to get into the sevens here. I think so, too. I, I mean, what so are too. you feeling? Are you feeling like a seven even? I feel like we, moved, we put this one at a seven one. I can agree with the seven. You know, and what got it over the, uh, you know, the six, eight, six, nine mark into the sevens was that the yeah. vibe, the playability, the pace of play. Like I had fun out here. I wasn't killing myself. I wasn't upset. I wasn't angry, played well. So, and don't forget too one. the conditions. And like we said, the ease of getting here. Yeah. A uh, short plane ride from New York and a one hour drive. So seven, one, tell us if you guys agree. Let us know in the comments, especially if you've played it before, how would you rate it on this little scale we put together? All right, we got to finish. So let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. Be the number, Frank. Be the number. number. Oh, wow, it's not. Wow, I guess I just got hit down by wind. Yeah, I think there's a little wind up there. I played that 140 shot. It did. By the way, guys, we've been seeing your comments in the last videos. You've been loving the edits, the videos. Give our, our editor, give our guy Casper some love. Throw a little like in this video. He's been working his butt off for the past year for us. So having fun. We see the comments. We see the praise and we appreciate it. I got you at 112, Mike. 112, where the players dwell. Now I'm aging myself with that line. Put in the comments below if you know the song. All right, here we go. <laughs> Man, does this guy throw divots, huh? Get on the flag. What a way to finish. What a way to finish. That's got to feel good. Feels real good, Heading into that steakhouse real like good, that. Right? I don't like to count up my score because I think it just gets in my head, but I just quickly did it. And if I make par here, I break 80, which is a terrific score for me. But I got work to do because I'm off the green. And this green ain't, ain't easy. One putt for 78, two putts for 79. And I didn't bring my trusty nine iron I've been bumping with all day. You got this, just get it there. I like the speed. Not enough speed no. for that. I like to hit my nine oh. iron in there. No. What was I doing? I'm not the Texas wedge guy. I'm not the Texas wedge guy. Should have went back for my nine, lazy Frank. Look at this putt. Oh. Wow, good par. Thank you. For 79! <laughs> what do you think, guys? Should I not have looked at the scorecard? I probably shouldn't have. Dude, hell Hey, around. not unhappy with an 80. Good round. All right, guys, that was a fun one, like we said. Make sure you guys let us know your own ratings. Let us know what you think about the rating system. We're going to carry it through this year. We've got so much incredible golf we're going to play this year. So we'll be bringing that to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow in the next video where we're going to take on the Seaside course. See you over there.